The Trump International Hotel here in Washington, D.C. has fallen on some hard times in the wake of its namesake's tumultuous presidency. Let's go to CNN's Brian Todd. He's working the story for us. He's over uh, outside the hotel. Uh, Brian, the pandemic hit the hotel industry hard all across the country, but the Trump Hotel is facing separate challenges. It really is, Wolf. You know, it really wasn't all that long ago that the Trump International Hotel was buzzing, VIPs and others clamoring to get inside. But tonight, there are serious questions about its future. With Donald Trump out of office, there now seems to be little to attract guests to his gilded hotel just a few blocks from the White House. Despite its ornate lobby and other impressive features, the Trump International Hotel like other high-end locations, has been ravaged by COVID's hit on the travel industry. On a recent weekend evening, a CNN employee who shot this video and took still pictures saw decent crowds at the Benjamin Bar and Lounge and the Steakhouse in the lobby, BLT Prime, but also observed very few people actually staying at the hotel. Hallways, elegant but empty. Elevators running up and down only a handful of times, indicating a lack of traffic to and from the rooms. The next day, during a weekend brunch period, our employee observed the lobby area was lifeless. Scenes consistent with the view of Zach Everson, the editor of a newsletter which has kept close track of Trump's hotel through social media for the past couple of years. Right now, I'm not seeing many people in the rooms. One of the things we have seen since post-presidency is that there haven't been many organizations that have uh, scheduled big events there. CNN is not able to independently verify Everson's information. But during our recent visit, a staffer of the hotel noted that it's normal to have a slowdown at this time of year, but also said, quote, because of everything going on, it kind of really had a different time. A different time indeed from the exhilarating days when just before Donald Trump was elected president, the Trump International Hotel opened, <laughs> touted as a crown jewel in his real estate empire. With the notable exception of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, this is the most coveted piece of real estate in Washington, D.C., the best location. It boasted luxurious suites, a Himalayan salt chamber in the spa, foreign officials, business elites, political power brokers likely trying to curry favor with Trump constantly shuttling through the lobby with so many every day it was it, you know it almost got overwhelming at times uh, how many uh, VIPs and and uh, uh, members of our government that um, you know are making headlines uh, are all together in the same place but like other high-end hotels Trump's Washington hotels revenue plummeted more than 60 percent in 2020 as coronavirus shut down travel and conferences in 2019 for that set of hotels, high-end luxury hotels in the downtown D.C. area, the occupancy was 73 percent. So basically, one in four rooms was empty. Today, four in five rooms are empty. But the Trump Hotel's occupancy was already expected to lag behind competitors before the coronavirus hit, according to sales materials showing projected 2020 occupancy rates. The Trump Organization tried to sell the lease for the hotel in 2019 and, according to the Wall Street Journal, asked a staggering $500 million for it. But that listing expired, and the real estate firm hired for that sale no longer works for the Trump Organization. If he sells the hotel, does it lose its cachet? It shouldn't lose its cachet at all. There are other hotel companies that have loyal followers, and if the Trump brand is to come off the hotel and another brand goes on the hotel, those followers would be more than happy to stay in a hotel with this location, with the recent renovation. Is the Trump Hotel now trying to salvage some revenue from Trump's own supporters who follow the false and bizarre QAnon belief that Trump will return to power on March 4th? The hotel could be counting on many of those followers to stream into Washington around that time. CNN checked the room rates at the Trump International Hotel for March 4th and the days immediately before and after. The Trump Hotel is raising its price per room more than double its normal amount for those nights. We checked other similar high-end hotels in the same area of town. Most show no change in room rates that week. Some show only a moderate increase. We tried several times to get the Trump Organization and the hotel's management to answer our questions about the drops in room bookings and revenues, about the hikes in room rates surrounding that QAnon conspiracy date, and whether the hotel's lease might go up for sale again. 
They didn't answer any of our questions, but they did send us a statement from Donald Trump's son, Eric, saying that the Trump International Hotel ranks among the finest properties anywhere in the world, and they're incredibly proud to have what he termed the best hotel in the nation's capital.